Hello everyone, welcome to the week of Adam vs. James at TheEndStep.com. This week I am playing Bant Control. Uh, this is my own personal list uh, with a little bit of fun things in, in it. So let's just jump right in. Uh, I'm playing Augur of Bolas because there's lots of instants and sorcerers in this deck. And it's a great you know, roadblock. Snapcaster Mage for some more value out of my instants and sorceries. Um, a lot of my instants and sorceries cost quite a bit. So I only have one Snapcaster Mage right now, but the games do tend to go kind of long, so I could make them for a second. Um, uh, two Aethlings from Dragon's Maze. This guy's been really awesome, actually, when I've played him. Uh, he's a really solid finisher. Um, he's frequently just an 8-1 eight, eight, you know, eight or whatever, unblockable, that, you know, can't die. So he's, he's, pretty, he's pretty good. The only thing is, like, I need some I need board control beforehand, and uh, the game needs to go a little long, and he's a 7-drop, not so much a 6-drop. So uh, he is a little slower in getting getting to get working, but when he gets working, he just wins the game. Um, because I'm playing so slow, and because I'm in green anyway, I'm playing four far seeks to help with that out. Then I'm playing my uh, controly cards like four supreme verdicts, four Azorius charms. I'm playing two dramatic rescues just to help alleviate the the punishment from like Naya Blitz decks or super fast aggressive decks. You know, just rescue them on two, Azorius Charm on three or whatever, and then verdict them on four. I should be able to like stabilize a lot of life at that point and then be able to turn pull, pull the game in my favor from there. And then I'm playing one Syncopate uh, as a counter spell. And then another Dragon's Maze card, I'm playing three Plasm Captures. This card's been pretty okay. Um, it hasn't been like Breakout Awesome or anything like that, but it does like ramp me into things like Aetherling, which is pretty pretty disgusting when that happens. Or like Supreme Verdict, or yeah, like Supreme Verdict next turn, or like Sphinx's Revelation for like a huge amount on my turn. Uh, or other cards that I'll get to in a second. Um, it's been okay, but it is a four mana counter spell, so like I'm trying to stay away from four. I might actually go down to two in future lists, but it's been okay. Uh, three Revelations, go to card. Uh, three Think Twice is mostly to hit like land drops or like progress my hand a little further like as the game goes on. And I'm also trying three Adv Advent of the Worms. These are like my quote unquote main kill condition. They're like my Restoration Angels or whatever, like versus like Esper's actually just playing Restoration Angel. Uh, they kill somebody very fast, especially if I can like Snapcaster one or something like that. And uh, it's an excellent blocker, huge attacker, awesome stuff. Uh, 26 lands, all like in color lands, pretty, pretty ordinary. I'm playing two forests and one island to help me cast my plasma captures efficiently. Uh, forests are also good for the double green and from the worm and my far seeks. I'm also playing one alchemist refuge just because this card's like really awesome and super sweet. It lets me throw my verdicts at instant speed to help fight top decks and, and things like that. Or, you know, flash in my eighth lane, something stupid. Um, but yeah, that's where the main deck's at, and let's take a look at the sideboard. So here's my sideboard for the bank control deck. Um, just run through them. I'm running one sideboard, slows the charm. Uh, sometimes I bring it in just to block like two twos or trade with two twos. Uh, I bring it in against the Premium Verdict deck so I can keep a threat on the table. And I almost always bring it in if I see Obsidat or like Angel Serenity. There's another like instant speed answer to eggling something that's like large and easily fights Supreme Verdict. Um, going from there, I have a Silk Lash Spider. This is like old tech from back when Bant was actually a real thing. Uh, helps fight Thundermine Hellkites, Falcon Aristocrats, Lingering Souls, all like the big, big pesky flyers in the air. Um, I'm actually pretty, pretty sweet with this card. I like it a lot. Um, it's also like a, a five mana brick wall that a lot of people have trouble getting through. Um, one Tame on my sideboard, mostly for mid-range matchups. That's really awesome there. It's also good to control matchups too. Uh, rest in peace, my graveyard hate. Uh, Psychic Spiral, it's almost strictly just for Esper control, just because I've got Dragon Guards and they don't, so I need to win the Dragon Guard War somewhere. So, Psychic Spiral. Uh, negate and Dispel for control mirrors, or not mirrors exactly, but control matchups. Uh, Pythian Needle for both the both for Nefalia Drown Yard and for any Planeswalker that's problematic. Uh, Detention Spear, uh, mostly for Planeswalkers and other problematic um, permanents. Like if someone's ever playing like a Sphere of Safety deck or anything like that, I need a, a permanent removal for that. Uh, Centric Healers for aggro matchups. Uh, a, a third Dramatic Rescue by Sideboard for more aggro matchups. And Renounce the Guilds for something like Geist Saint Traft and Obsidat or Multicolored Planeswalkers. Um, just mostly like permanent based uh, things to deal with in my sideboard, as well as some aggro, aggro hate. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Yep, we'll see how the games go.